What's up guys, today we're gonna go over the goblet squat. It's a fantastic lower body exercise. It's low tech. You could do it in any dinky hotel gym or at your parents' house if they have some, many, some uh, 15 or 12 pound, 10 pound dumbbells lying around. It's a very doable exercise, so no excuses. Um, to get started with the goblet squat, what we're gonna do is you're going to place both hands underneath one of the edges, okay? Keep the dumbbell close to your body with your elbows tucked, chest up, hips back as you go down, spreading the knees apart. You could hold it for about a second, getting a nice feel, getting grooved into your hips, and then come back up, okay? I place these plates on the floor, the little two and a half uh, pound plates, couple, an inch, an inch and a half off the floor, um, which you could stand on with your heels, and that is great for people with poor ankle mobility, because if you're here and you're squatting with the goblet squat or regular squat, and you're restricted in the front, usually from driving, from sitting, having restrictions here won't allow you to go down as far, will make you um, also bend forward or lift your heels, which isn't good for your back or your knees. So to save that and to allow you to go down safely with a straight spine, you can step on a small elevated surface or small little plates like that, okay? What the benefits of the goblet squat, there are many benefits. Um, one of them is Great low-tech exercise, can be done almost anywhere. It not only challenges your legs, also challenges your core and your postural muscles. So postural muscles like your longissimus, it's a long muscle that travels up your back, allows you to extend. Getting extension is key for good posture, standing up straight, having strong endurance in those muscles is key for good posture. So this is a fantastic exercise to incorporate in your routine. Another really good thing is having the weight in front of you takes a lot of load off your discs. Um, in, like for example, in a back squat, um, you're getting a lot of compressive load. Not to say back squats aren't good, they're fantastic, but depending on your goals, depending on past injuries or experience, this might be a better option.